I'm six, and I'm gonna start fresh. Let's see. Are you serious? This is amazing. What is it? It's a it's a quilt made of t-shirts. Oh, I almost made a quilt last year with duct tape. <laughs> ah, duct! Woo! Look, they're not just any t-shirts. They're all meaningful to our gang. Wait, oh yeah, I remember when we got these not as t-shirts in the parking lot. Oh, oh, yeah. And some classic parties represented on there as well. Who made this? Uh, I did. Well, I didn't make it. I hired a seamstress, but I had the idea and I gathered all the t-shirts and... You know, in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have spent a year collecting fabric memories to create something that literally clings to you, but... That is very thoughtful, Wayne. Thanks. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really fun to do and it brought back some amazing memories, so... Wow. This is the spirit of our white elephant. <laughs> Oh my God, there it is. What? This black shirt, let's get trunk this Christmas. B Billy was wearing that on our first date. Wow, oh. his obsession with Christmas goes way back. <laughs> I've been looking for this forever. How did you get it? I, uh, I must have left it at Wayne's all these years ago. <laughs> Probably. No, I gave you that one, remember? You asked me if I had any old college t-shirts for Instagram, TVTs or something, and I gave you four or five. Oh, yes. Very sneaky, okay. Why would you have Billy's t-shirt? You guys barely knew each other in college. I use my t-shirts for rags anyway. I took these from Marcy's closet. You what? Those boxes on the top shelf. I didn't think you cared. Why would Marcy have Billy's shirt? I couldn't have had the only let's get trunk shirt at ISU. I thought you made it. I, I must have given it to John for his rags then. No. You're lying. You're covering up something, I can tell. PJ, don't be silly. 